Neville Goddard says that the world and all within it are man's conditioned consciousness objectified. Consciousness is both the cause and substance of the entire world. Therefore, if we seek to uncover the secret of creation, we must turn our attention to consciousness. Understanding the law of consciousness and how to use it enables us to manifest our desires. Consciousness is the one and only reality, not figuratively but actually. Imagine your consciousness as a stream divided into two parts, the conscious and the subconscious. To effectively use the law of consciousness, understanding the relationship between conscious and subconscious is crucial. In this video we will discuss what is difference between conscious and subconscious minds, how they work and constitute your overall consciousness. This video will empower you to manifest your desires effortlessly, because once you learn to use your consciousness wisely, you become unstoppable. So make sure to stick this video until the end, and if you are watching our video for this first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button to join and support our growing YouTube family. So now let's get started. According to Neville Goddard, the conscious mind is personal and selective, while the subconscious mind is impersonal and non-selective. The conscious represents the realm of effects, while the subconscious is the realm of causes. These two aspects are like the male and female divisions of consciousness, with the conscious being the male and the subconscious the female. The conscious generates ideas and impresses them upon the subconscious. The subconscious, in turn, receives and manifests these ideas. It doesn't originate ideas, but rather accepts as true whatever the conscious mind believes to be true, then manifests these accepted ideas into reality. Therefore, through his power to imagine and feel, and his freedom to choose the idea he will entertain, man has control over creation. Control of the subconscious is accomplished through control of your ideas and feelings. The mechanism of creation is hidden in the very depth of the subconscious, the female aspect or womb of creation. The creative process begins with an idea, and its cycle runs its course as a feeling, ending in a volition to act. Ideas are impressed on the subconscious through the medium of feeling. No idea can be impressed on the subconscious until it is felt. But once felt, be it good, bad, or indifferent, it must be expressed. Feeling is the one and only medium through which ideas are conveyed to the subconscious. Therefore, the man who does not control his feeling may easily impress the subconscious with undesirable states. By control of feeling is not meant restraint or suppression of your feeling, but rather the disciplining of self to imagine and entertain only such feeling as contributes to your happiness. Control of your feeling is all important to a full and happy life. Never entertain an undesirable feeling nor think sympathetically about wrong in any shape or form. Do not dwell on the imperfections of yourself or others, for to do so is to impress the subconscious with these limitations. What you do not want done unto you, do not feel that it is done unto you or another. This is the whole law of a full and happy life, everything else is commentary. Every feeling makes a subconscious impression, and unless it is counteracted by a more powerful feeling of an opposite nature, it must be expressed. The dominant of two feelings is the one expressed. I am healthy is a stronger feeling than I will be healthy. To feel I will be is to confess I am not. I am is stronger than I am not. Sensation precedes manifestation and is the foundation upon which all manifestation rests. Be careful of your moods and feelings, for there is an unbroken connection between your feelings and your visible world. Your body is an emotional filter and bears the unmistakable marks of your prevalent emotions. Emotional disturbances, especially suppressed emotions, are the causes of all disease. To feel intensely about a wrong without voicing or expressing that feeling is the beginning of a disease, both in body and environment. Do not entertain the feeling of regret or failure, for frustration or detachment from your objective results in disease. Think feelingly only of the state you desire to realize. Feeling the reality of the state and living and acting on that conviction is the way of all seeming miracles. All changes of expression are brought about through a change of feeling. A change of feeling is a change of destiny. All creation occurs in the domain of the subconscious. What you must acquire then is a reflective control of the operation of the subconscious, that is, control of your ideas and feelings. The gateway into the subconscious is sleep, the life that occupies one-third of our stay on Earth. It is the natural door into the subconscious, so it is with sleep that we are now concerned. The conscious two-thirds of our life on Earth is measured by the degree of attention we give to sleep. Our understanding of and delight in what sleep has to bestow will cause us night after night to set out for it as though we were keeping an appointment with a lover. 
It is in sleep that man enters the subconscious to make his impressions and receive his instructions. In these states, the conscious and subconscious are creatively joined. The male and female become one flesh. Sleep is the time when the male or conscious mind turns from the world of sense to seek its lover or subconscious self. Whatever you have in consciousness as you go to sleep is the measure of your expression in the waking two-thirds of your life on earth. The unconsciousness of sleep is the normal state of the subconscious because all things come from within yourself and your conception of yourself determines that which comes. You should always feel the wish fulfilled before you drop off to sleep. You never draw out of the deep of yourself that which you want. You always draw that which you are, and you are that which you feel yourself to be, as well as that which you feel has true of others to be realized. Then the wish must be resolved into the feeling of being or having or witnessing the state. This is accomplished by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled, the feeling that comes in response to the question, how would I feel when my wish is realized? is the feeling that should monopolize and immobilize your attention as you relax into sleep. You must be in the consciousness of being or having that which you want to be or to have before you drop off to sleep. Once asleep, man has no freedom of choice. His entire slumber is dominated by his last waking concept of self. Nations as well as people are only what you believe them to be. No matter what the problem is, no matter where it is, no matter whom it concerns, you have no one to change but yourself and you have neither opponent nor helper in bringing about the change within yourself. You have nothing to do but convince yourself of the truth of that which you desire to see manifested. As soon as you succeed in convincing yourself of the reality of your wish, the results follow to confirm your fixed belief. Realization of your wish is accomplished by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. You cannot fail unless you fail to convince yourself of the reality of your wish. The change of belief is confirmed by a change of expression. By feeling your wish fulfilled and quietly relaxing into sleep, you cast yourself in a star role to be played on earth tomorrow, and while asleep, you are rehearsed and instructed in your part. Sleep is a sacred bridge between the conscious and subconscious mind where transformative magic occurs. It is in this hidden realm that the seeds of creation are sown. The dreams you experience during this time are not just illusions but powerful messages from the subconscious. Pay attention to them, for they often carry the wisdom needed to guide your waking life. Consider sleep as a sacred haven where you connect with your inner self. As you close your eyes and enter this world, let go of the burdens and worries of the day. Relax every muscle, release every tension, and allow yourself to drift into the world of the subconscious. Now let's explore the profound connection between your waking world and the realm of dreams. Your conscious thoughts and feelings directly influence the dreams you experience during sleep. Before you go on your nightly voyage into the subconscious, take time to set your intentions. Visualize the reality you desire. Feel it as if it is already yours. This is the key. When you approach sleep with the mindset of the wish fulfilled, you plant the seeds of your desires in the fertile soil of the subconscious. In this state of feeling, your dreams become a playground for your intentions. They take on vivid shapes and colors, mirroring the emotions you've sown. Imagine each dream as a miniature masterpiece crafted by your subconscious. This dream world is malleable and responsive to your feelings. Your innermost desires come to life as you explore this ethereal realm. It is here, in this realm beyond the constraints of time and space, that you receive guidance and insights that can transform your waking reality. Pay close attention to recurring dreams or symbols, for they often carry messages of great significance. Your subconscious speaks to you through these symbols, urging you to take action or make changes in your life. Listen attentively, for the language of the subconscious is the language of the heart. As you awaken each morning, take a moment to reflect on your dreams. What emotions did they stir within you? What insights did they offer? These nocturnal adventures are not to be dismissed lightly, for they are the whispers of your inner wisdom. Now let us delve deeper into the concept of self-concept. Your perception of yourself, your identity, and your beliefs shape the reality you experience. It is not enough to merely desire a change in your life. You must first become the embodiment of that change. To transform your outer world, you must first transform your inner world. This begins with a fundamental shift in your self-concept. How do you see yourself? What do you believe about your capabilities and worthiness? In the mirror of your mind's eye, envision the person you aspire to be. See yourself living the life you desire, experiencing the joy, abundance, and fulfillment you seek. As you consistently hold this self-image in your thoughts and feelings, it will gradually seep into your subconscious, shaping your reality. The subconscious is a faithful servant, 
tirelessly working to bring into manifestation the images and emotions you impress upon it. It does not discriminate between positive and negative. It simply obeys the commands it receives. Therefore, it is imperative that you consciously choose the thoughts and feelings that you allow to take root in your subconscious. Affirmations are a potent tool for reshaping your self-concept. Repeatedly affirm to yourself the qualities and circumstances you wish to embody. Speak these affirmations with conviction and emotion, for it is the feeling behind the words that gives them power. For example, if you seek financial abundance, affirm to yourself, I am wealthy and prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly, providing me with all I need. As you utter these words with belief and feeling, you are implanting them deep within your subconscious, paving the way for their physical manifestation. Consistency is key. The subconscious thrives on repetition. Repeat your affirmations daily, especially before sleep, when your mind is most receptive to suggestion. Let these affirmations become the soundtrack of your inner world, guiding you toward the reality you desire. Now let us explore the concept of time as it relates to the manifestation of your desires. The subconscious operates outside the constraints of linear time. It does not distinguish between past, present, and future. In its realm, all things are accessible in the eternal now. This means that you can rewrite your past and reshape your future through the power of your thoughts and feelings in the present moment. Past mistakes and regrets need not define you. You can choose to release them and create a new narrative for yourself. Similarly, you can plant the seeds of your future desires in the present. By feeling as though your wishes have already been fulfilled, you collapse the timeline between desire and manifestation. Your subconscious acts as a bridge, guiding you effortlessly toward your chosen destination. I hope I delivered a good analysis of this idea by Neville Goddard, as he was a great teacher and inspired millions of people around the world. If you want to share your opinion, comment down below this video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more interesting, informative, and helpful videos on manifestation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.